these bottles inside the walls and inside the roof system of this house. This is the third one. I don't know what was going on in that culture. This guy's uh, sticking whiskey bottles inside the walls. I think maybe uh, this is the story of a plasterer who was plastering while plastering. <laughs> Something like that. Start jacking up this inside corner and probably one place where you'll see the difference is at the top of the door right up here which is sitting low the first place that I jacked up was back here and this doorway the right side was had settled and was low but now if you take a look It's square. In the entry, I have installed the new sill plate and rim board over here. I have a new beam along the foundation to the inside corner. New beam along the edge of the living room. This is the beam that I replaced the old rotten one with. Here's a piece of the rotten one. It was mortise and tenon joinery. The beam was notched here. That's a mortise. And a tongue of the joist fit in there. That's the tenon. And rather than notching the new beam, I put a ledger board right there to carry the original tenon of the floor joists. Uh, so I have the new subfloor system in the entry installed. And uh, you guys remember that originally this area had completely collapsed. And today I even reopened the front door of the house for the first time in nobody knows how long. So people have been wondering and asking what is supporting this wall since The studs have completely rotted out in the bottom and the answer is the two posts at the end this post and the one at the other end of this span and these super wide boards have uh, they form a truss which keeps the whole wall from sagging so it's supported at at both ends at both corners so it seems to be the story in this house that everything's all this rotten stuff is hanging from the superstructure. And the same thing is true of the closet wall here. It's not resting on the new floor. It's hanging from the rafters. Ready to start replacing the roof system in the front right quadrant. Up here. As I've been working my way up the roof, I've been uh, cutting away at this uh, old TV antenna, cutting off one piece at a time. I'm up near the top of the roof now, and this is the last piece. 
cool. Looks like there was a hole burnt through the roof at one time here. The old rafters are charred. And they replaced a couple of roof boards to patch it. Huh, I might be retiring these shoes. I stepped on a nail and uh, when I pulled it off, the sole came off the shoe. These are my oldest hiking shoes I had to stay safe up on the roof. Okay, so I'm gonna do that too. Signing and dating.